Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a mini review and swatch video on the new eyeshadows that are launching by Davina Cosmetics. I'm going to just try to talk straight through this video so that way I have minimal editing to do so that way I can hurry up and get this video up for you guys. Um, I wasn't planning on filming today but I just threw on some easy makeup because they are doing a pre-launch and I figured swatches would be really helpful before they do the pre-launch. Um, as the days go on, I am going to be adding more eye swatch pictures on my Instagram. I already have two eye swatches on my Instagram and I'm going to be adding more so that way I can try to eye swatch every single shade. But I'm just doing a quick swatch video today so that way if you guys want to see what they look like for the uh, pre-launch, uh, you guys can get your hands on these because trust me, you are not going to want to miss out on these. These are amazing. So yeah, so first of all, she's going to be launching 8, 9, 10 matte shades and two pressed pigments. So here's a close up of these. They are so pretty. I have this yellow shade on my eyes today and I just have it on the lid and then blend it up into the crease and I have MAC Nylon on my inner tear duct and then I have Davina Cosmetics Blow uh, to set my brow bone. So it's a really simple eye look but as you can see this color is super pigmented. It blended like so easily and yeah it's really really fun and pretty. So yeah I'm excited to show you guys these. Let's dive into the swatches and then I will talk about the shadows right after. So here's the first set of shades. I tried to swatch all the cooler tones together and then I'll swatch the warmer tones together. But um, these mattes are so gorgeous. So starting off at the end with the super deep matte. It's like a really uh, deep gray, but I kind of see some purple undertones to it. It is called Petrina. The second uh, darkest shade is more of a... It's a gray, but it has purple undertones in that one too, I see. And this one is called Zane. And that middle shade is called Esme. And it's kind of like a gray with heavy purple undertones. It's like a taupey gray purple. I really am sucking at explaining these. So I'm curious to see the shade descriptions that Deandra puts on the website. Um... That beautiful, beautiful, dusty rose color is called Suki, and I think that one is my favorite out of this entire new launch, and I'll tell you which one's my second favorite, but I'm just so obsessed with this shade. It was a shade that they really, really needed in their matte line. Um, I've been craving this kind of shade from them so bad. I would also like to see a more medium magenta pink, too, in the future, but that one is just, this dusty rose is everything. And, okay, so the two pressed pigments are swatched right here as well. This deep kind of taupey gray purple shade is called Damn Gina. It's a really, really deep smoky color, but there's strong purple hues in there. So it's going to be beautiful with, um, oh my gosh, so many different creased shades to make a nice smoky eye. And then this really beautiful silver is called Plated, and it looks very, very bright. It has a beautiful metallic sheen. It is really, really intense and pretty, but it has a depth to the base. So this is going to be a really great highlighting silver shade for more skin tones because I know a lot of silvers and white shades like this are really, really bright and they almost look too bright um, on me when I'm super tan. So I think that this one, it almost has some depth to the base of it where I feel like this silver is going to be a really good, nice lid shade or inner tear duct shade for... Um, more skin tones just because I thought it was going to be light and bright like when I swatched it and then when I put it on my eye it just the depth of it came out. Alright guys so here is the warm row and I'm filming on the opposite side of my camera so I really hope I'm in focus. So we're going to start off with the reds. The far end red shade it's kind of like a muted raspberry brown shade. Um, it has brown undertones but it is a red color if that makes sense and it just kind of has some kind of berry tone to it it's and it's more muted it's really really gorgeous and it's called Laramie and the next red shade is called Runa 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 it's really really pretty it's a really bright uh I would say like ketchup tomato red it kind of reminds me of the shade Hunts from the Jaclyn Hill palette um, but this one is so pigmented and okay, so the next shade it's orange and it's called Duna It's just a nice pumpkin orange. I am gonna be so obsessed with that one in the fall 
It's it's so pretty. The next shade is a yellow and it is called Darina. And the yellow is kind of like a mac and cheese yellow is how I would describe it. It just reminds me of macaroni and cheese. It has some orange undertones in there. Um, I am gonna do a couple comparison swatches of shades that are slightly similar in her collection so that way you guys can see the comparison. Um, the brown shade up next is called Freya and it's a medium brown with strong olive green undertones to it. I picture this one being so beautiful all over the lid, blended up in the crease for like a one eyeshadow look. And the next one is called Thisbe and it's a nice like foresty green but it's not a deep forest color. So it's really, really pretty. That one really blends like a dream. I have an eye swatch of that shadow on my Instagram and I only used that one and it just blended so nicely. So that is the warmer row and oh my gosh. Let me back up a little bit. Those are so stunning. So my second favorite is that mac and cheese yellow shade. It is absolutely gorgeous. So now that you guys saw the swatches, I wanted to do a few comparison swatches to shades that she already has in her line, just so you can see the comparison. So the first shades I'm gonna compare is her new shade in Darina. And I'm gonna swatch it next to her current shade, Anastasia. And Anastasia is an orange, but with really strong yellow undertones. And I'm also gonna swatch it side by side with Courtney because I figured people would wanna see the comparisons of the more yellowy tones. She also has a shade in Capri, but that's just a bright sunshine yellow where that one looks nothing similar to them. I turned down my exposure, so hopefully that helps um, being able to see the tones of the shadows. So this is her newest shade, that mac and cheese yellow that I'm obsessed with. This is Courtney. Courtney has a lot more kind of a green undertones in it. And Anastasia, as you can see, is a brighter orange. So none of them are exactly the same and they're all different. Um, all of them are pigmented, but they all have different undertones. So I hope that's helpful. Um, I did think we should compare the browns. So I have this brown in Christux, which is a already existing brown shade. And I'm gonna compare it next to her new shade in Freya. I almost dropped it, I would have cried. So as you can see, Christux is lighter and Freya has more of an olivey undertone to it. Both really pretty, but very different. So there's those comparisons. Now I think I'm gonna compare, she has a green already in, existing in her line called Envy. I'm pretty sure Envy is still available, I could be wrong. But just in case you already have Envy, I'll swatch those two side by side. So there's the greens, super duper different. The newer shade is a lot more muted and kind of foresty. Now I was gonna compare her new orange in Iduna and her existing shade in Navia. So these two in the pans look similar, so let's swatch these bad boys out. Her shade in Navia is more of like a straight orange and the new shade she's coming out with is more pumpkin-y. So this is Navia, it's a bright orange, and her new shade has a lot more pumpkin-y tones, like a brown undertone in it, so it's more of a pumpkin orange, which I'm obsessed with. So none of these are looking the same, I think all of these are going to be must-haves. Um, I will quickly compare the reds. So on my elbow, I quickly swatched her reds, don't mind my elbow if it's dry. So this is her new shade coming out, I keep forgetting the name, it's in Runa. And this one has the most orange undertones out of all of the reds, so it's definitely like a tomato red. The next shade is her other new shade coming out called Laramie. And as you can see, this one has like raspberry undertones, so it has a little bit of like a more purpley berry undertone to the red. But it is a red just with the more purpley undertones. The next shade in the line is Passion, which is an oldie but a goodie. It's one of my favorites in her collection. And this one is a red, but it has kind of like brown undertones to it. So it looks really, really good with brown looks. And then the very bottom shade is her shade in Lucretia. And that one almost has like a burgundy undertone so all her reds are really beautiful but they are all slightly different in undertones where me I would need them all they're beautiful I love red eyeshadows so guys those are all the shades and all the comparison swatches I hope you guys found this video helpful if you do have any questions please leave it down below as always I will leave my coupon code down below 
So that way it will save you guys 20% off of this new collection. And yeah, leave down in the comments what you are picking up, what you're really digging, which one is your favorite, and all of that good stuff. And I already told you guys my favorite, so I'd like to hear your favorite. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. I do videos twice a week, so I'll see you guys then. And until then, have a great day slash night, everybody. Bye.